Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to this um, series of lectures for differential amplifiers. So in this uh, lecture we will see the circuit topology for a differential amplifier. So our basic requirements uh, remain same, uh, the amplifier requirements remain same. Uh, what we need is a high gain amplifier high gain amplifier uh, but now in fact the requirement is more actually now uh, now uh, the amplifier should respond to a differential signal so I should get a circuit uh, that should respond to <coughs> respond to a differential signal <coughs> so we'll see how uh, we can develop a circuit topology that responds to a differential signal so if you remember the available configurations what we have what we discussed in previous classes we have cd configuration cg configuration as well as cs configuration and among these three <clears throat> we definitely uh, know that the cd amplifier is not a good candidate for an amplifier since we need high gain and again <clears throat> common uh, now the rest of the configurations are common gate and common source in that again in common gate we have seen that there is one uh, small problem I will not say problem actually there is uh, lack of a high uh, input impedance port right lack of a high input impedance port which makes <clears throat> so lack of this high imp uh, input impedance port uh, makes even the CG amplifier a not a suitable candidate for this purpose. So uh, what we are left out is with CS amplifier where uh, the input impedance is high even the output impedance is also good enough and it gives a proper gain also right. So this, uh, the, what we are talking about is uh, differential amplifier the requirement is a high gain amplifier and one more additional requirement is the circuit should respond to a differential signal. And if I consider these three uh, configurations, CD is not possible. CG again, there is a lack of high input impedance port. And the CS is the only the <clears throat> possible uh, configuration which I can use for amplifier. Right now, <clears throat> if I look at CS amplifier very uh, closely, uh, so if you look at this structure of a CS amplifier. Actually, what the CS amplifier is amplifying. So, if you look at the CS amplifier, um, we'll always write the output expression as, right? Output is always written as uh, minus GMR into uh, V in, right? V in. So, V in is applied in this way, right? <clears throat> or actually, the output is actually minus GMR uh, into V in minus zero. Can I write in this way? Yes, definitely we can write in this. Uh, so uh, if I write the circuit <clears throat> by modifying this as V in 1 and this as V in 2, my output will be equal to minus GMR into V in 1 minus V in 2. Right. So <clears throat> if you look at CS amplifier, CS amplifier is amplifying the difference between the uh, voltage connected to gate as well as source because the current flowing here the a small signal current flowing here is actually uh, gm into vgs so if i can provide a signal to gate as well as source what i can get at the output of the cs amplifier is basically the difference of those two input signals with an amplification factor of minus gmr right <clears throat> now um, so is that our uh, need our is that our requirement is satisfied with this definitely we are getting high gain and uh, can we provide v in 1 and v in 2 as a differential signal so that the circuit will respond to this differential signal is it possible <coughs> i just pause this video and think whether this kind of configuration is possible so that we can amplify this amplify uh, a differential signal with this with this particular circuit diagram to understand this what i'll do is i'll just since I have two input signals, I will draw um, separately 
by considering one input at a time uh, so by grounding the other one the first configuration will be like this and the uh, second one will be uh, something like this V int right so uh, when I consider input one V in one uh, what is what is the input impedance seen by the source V in one yeah the input impedance seen by the source is actually infinity the Rn is infinity but uh, yeah this is for actually for V in one the circuit for V in one and this is the circuit for V in two now if you look at this circuit or when I uh, consider uh, when you consider the signal V in two actually V in two is not seen seeing a high impedance V in is actually seeing an impedance uh, which is approximately equal to 1 by gm which is very low value right is very low uh, so what I can say here is <clears throat> if I want to amplify a signal properly right that, that signal source should definitely see a high input impedance so that the entire signal will be available and it, it can be amplified properly but uh, if I am directly giving the signals to the gate as well as source of a uh, common uh, source amplifier v in 1 will see a high impedance because the input is connected to gate but v in 2 will definitely um, not see a high impedance or it will see a very low impedance so actually we can say this is a problem right for v in 2 v in 2 uh, should see a high impedance but uh, since it is connected to the source it is seeing a very low impedance so this is basically a problem right now the question is how can i fix this problem the problem is v in 2 is not able to see a high impedance <clears throat> uh, now tell me what is the problem if v into uh, is seeing a low impedance the problem is yeah it cannot transfer the entire signal to that particular point right this we have seen um, this as uh, impedance matching problem and in order to fix this um, to fix this problem when i say this problem actually the problem is low impedance uh, seen by the signal source V in 2 right so how can I fix this problem yeah with what we have learned from previous classes I can say this problem can be fixed by using a buffer right so now my circuit is uh, like this V in is connected directly to the gate but V in 2 cannot be <coughs> connected directly to the source because it is seeing a low impedance from this point so what i can do is i can uh, give v into to a buffer uh, so that v into the signal source will see a high impedance looking from this point uh, but at the same time v into will only reach here how uh, i can make it possible is buffer is nothing but which can give um, almost same gain or almost the same uh, without amplification i can get so what I can get here is actually V into buffered the buffered value of V into and the output actually remains same here V naught is nothing but uh, minus GMR into V in 1 minus V into or V into buffered if I uh, neglect uh, if I consider the buffer as an ideal buffer the same amplification or no, sorry the amplification of 1 will be um, given to V into or the same signal will be available at this point and the output remains same <clears throat> right so the problem of high uh, low input impedance which is seen by v into at the source of the transistor is solved by adding a buffer at the um, in, uh, at the source terminal and giving input to the uh, buffer <clears throat> now uh, when i say buffer uh, what circuit can i use for that yeah the for buffer i can definitely use a cd configuration common drain or uh, the circuit diagram can be something like this so this should be connected to vdd mm, so if v into is the signal what i need to connect so if i connect here an ideal current source with some value or some uh, current i current mm, what i can get here is actually v into buffered value right or almost same value uh, ideally speaking if i if i 
can get a gain of 1, V into will be same as your V into buffer. Now, <clears throat> if I insert this, uh, di this diagram or this circuit as this buffer diagram here, the new circuit will be looking uh, like this. So, you have a resistance. Here is our input V in 1. <clears throat> and here is actually a buffer so the second input is given to this point v into and this could be connected to vdd this is the ideal current source <clears throat> right and this is resistance r from this point i can get uh, the output and output remains same as we discussed before now <clears throat> so we are discussing about differential amplifiers so from the circuit topology what we <clears throat> obtain now definitely we can give a differential input signal i can definitely apply a signal between the gate so if i have a differential input uh, i can directly apply to v in one as well as v in two now if i want to uh, take differential output from the circuit um, how is it possible yeah, it is possible. Uh, yeah, I'll just redraw the circuit. So this is the circuit what we discussed now. And uh, what we have here is another transistor. And it is connected to an little current. So I'll move the current source to this point. And this is your V in 1. And this is your V in 2. And if you want to take output differentially, if you remember in the previous lecture, I told that <clears throat> in order to measure output differentially, uh, there are two conditions. I told. One is the signal, uh, we can measure between two points where the signal excursions are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. And one more requirement is both nodes should have equal impedance. Right. So from this point, definitely we will get a variation. Now that is nothing but minus uh, GMR, I'll get a variation, right? So minus uh, GMR into uh, V in 1 minus V in 2, right? So if I want to get a, a variation from this point, from this node, what I should do is both should be of equal impedance. So I can uh, put a resistor here of R resistance, then I will get definitely I'll get the variation over here also. And what will be the variation that value? That value is nothing but uh, minus GMR into V into minus V. In. I'll write this side. So this is nothing but minus GMR into V into minus V in 1. <clears throat> or I can write this as GMR into V in 1 minus V in 2. Right. So this is nothing but the circuit of a differential amplifier. Differential amplifier topology where inputs are differential and output are also differential. So this is the circuit of a differential amplifier. So if you look at the, mm, <clears throat> yeah, you just pause the videos in between, you watch uh, carefully and understand that we started with a common source amplifier, a basic common source amplifier. Uh, the output is minus gm and r into v in 1 minus v in 2 uh, but the problem here is v in 2 will see a very low impedance so that can be improved by adding a buffer what is a buffer buffer is cd amplifier now cd amplifier when i fit in here i'll get the uh, circuit diagram something like this and definitely here i'll get a variation this variation is minus gm r into uh, v in 1 minus v in 2 now uh, if i uh, want to get variation from the other point or if I want to take output differentially the impedance also should be equal so I added another resistance and I have taken output from these two points so you can write the expressions from here and as well as here and you can get the output from here as differentially V out right so <clears throat> watch this lecture and understand this we will continue in next lecture thank you